punk icon John Lydon has told of how a crazed fan intruded on his mourning for his late wife and left him afraid to sleep at night. The 67-year-old revealed earlier this month that he had filed a stalking report with LA County Police, claiming the woman has bombarded him with calls and broken into his garden. And in an exclusive interview, John, best known as Sex Pistols frontman Johnny Rotten, opened up on how the ordeal, which comes just months after the death of beloved wife of 44 years Nora Forster, has enraged him. The singer said, I'm in the middle of all of this, grieving for Nora, and this girl is convinced she's my daughter. In America, you can seem to get anybody's phone number and address, and that's it. She's knocking on my door, filling up the letterbox. She's somehow managing to come in at night, too, not my house but the area. I tried talking to her on the phone and telling her it's not right, and in light of the grief I'm going through at the moment. But she takes no notice. There's been no response whatsoever, from the police, so I'm on my own on this one. It's not what I need at the moment. It's quite a frightening feeling at night, when you hear creaking going on around the house because you don't know what their full intent is. I pick up the phone sometimes and it's her. I hope she gets help but there's no one out there to help in these situations, and so they end up helping themselves to a slice of other people's existence. And if you dare step outside of their perceptions, they want to harm you. It really is a hole in the head that shouldn't be there. John was heartbroken when 80-year-old Nora, his wife of 44 years, died in April. The German publishing heiress had been suffering from Alzheimer's disease. John said, it was very painful to watch her dying. Very, very painful. Slowly suffocating, because the body gives up. The brain was still there, something was still there that wanted to survive because Nora was a great trooper and very, very brave. But now all that's gone. I've lost my life partner. There's always that vague hope that she's up there still watching. It would be a wish. But then I would rather she's in a good place than hovering over me. One of the things I miss the most is watching comedy with her, and even though she's gone, I still watch with her subtitles. Melting